Okay, uh, this video tutorial is about uh, how you can create anim sets using Unreal Development Kit. So, why? What's an anim set? Is that uh, a set of animations? Uh, I mean, uh, for the objects that you create from Maya, you can create an animation. So, one animation, for an example, let's say a soldier's walking. So, that soldier's walking animation is a one anim set in UDK. So, uh, how you're gonna import and how you're gonna create uh, these anim animations um, in UDK? So, this is all about that, but I'm going to explain now. So, let's get started. Let's import uh, the objects that I've already created. So, you also can create any object or you can create anything um, in Maya and you can uh, animate them and then you can open it. Uh, using Maya import menu item so uh, this is the FBX that I created let's import that okay so uh, let me zoom out it this is a creature that I created using Maya so what I'm going to do let's just uh, give a kind of a smooth look for this object right um, right let me save uh, export it to the same file So this is the one file that I created. So this is without any animation. The object you need to save um, as a FBX. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to give an animation to this object. So um, 30 frames will be enough. So what I'm going to do, I will start the animate, start animating this object click S so you select the join point and click S to start a keyframe so this tenth frame I'm going to do I'm going to rotate this a bit To this side, to this side, twenty sixth, bit down. So I'll be copying the first frame to make uh, a complete animation loop right so after doing this now when you click the play button right uh, you will see that it's not like a smooth animation right so uh, how are you gonna make it like that uh, Select the join point that you started animating. Uh, go to window, anim editors, graph editor, and using tangnet, select this one. Tangnets, last one. So we'll see smooth animation curves. Now you can play.
Okay. Right. Now what I'm going to do, uh, um, I'm going to export this uh, animation, right? So I select export all and creature idle. Okay, now from Unreal Engine, what we need to do, uh, we need to first import this object to this uh, Unreal um, Content Browser. Right? So let me import, let's click import, and let's import the first creature without animation that we created. So it's a skeletal mesh by default, right? Uh, you don't need to click rigged animations, import rigged animations anyway. We have not uh, animated that. This is uh, a skeletal mesh. So let me say creature pkg. So this is my package name. Right. If I hit OK, it will be imported. Right. So this is the skele skeletal mesh that we created from Maya. So if you click the play button, so you won't see any animation since it's just a skeletal mesh. So we have not imported the uh, animation sets yet. Right? So you can say you can click this button, show skeleton. So it will show you the skeleton join points that we have uh, used in Maya. Right. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to import my uh, animation. Right. So. Uh, just click in, uh, import F, fbx animation oh, hold on before going to that sorry just uh, double click that uh, we have we have we cannot use the skeletal mesh we need to create an anim set first right so that's the really goal uh, that's the major goal of this uh, video tutorial so just right click this this area empty area and just click uh, select a new anim set right so this should also go to a package called anims right pkg anims so the name would be um, creature idle so this is just an empty anim set right so let me close this this is the anim set that we created so when i double click this so the, by default it loads the skeletal mesh that i've already created right so normally you know if we if this if uh, unreal uh, udk editor cannot find the object that you created but it what you will see like this by default you will see uh, this kind of a box when you create a new anim set so what you need to do if you see something like this um, just minimize this what you need to do you need to go to the skeletal mesh that you've created um, just click this right and uh, there we go. so you select this creature the select uh, skeletal mesh and then click this left arrow button you selected skeletal mesh in content browser so once you click that so that will be loaded right so now what we're going to do for this um, uh, empty anim set we are going to import an animation set for this creature so import fbx animation you go to file import fbx animation so now we are going to select creature idle animation that we exported via maya so now the animation is imported now if you click the play button you will see the animation that we created using maya right so 
I will close this now you need to go to the skeletal mesh that you created and you need to add it to this playground right so since it's a small object let me resize it so, right okay I just resized it now what do you need to do now uh, at the moment all the animation sets that we've created right, is assigned and mapped to this skeletal mesh right what we need to do um, we need to actually uh, so when, once you double click this object what will happen it loads the objects attributes properties so we need to say that for this object right the default anim set now the default anim set is none when we need to set the anim set that we've created right for this object so what you need to do actually you need to go to the content browser and select the anim set that you've created double click and open it go to this anim tab anim sequence name just copy this name right so this is the animation that we created and you need to give the same name here anim sequence name right after that just scroll down you will see a section called uh, anim sets right so at the moment there are no anim sets mapped to this object so whatever I am going to do is that I'm going to map an anim set for this object right so just click the plus button so what will happen is that okay, let's select the anim set first and click this left row button so that selected anim set is assigned to this object right okay now uh, the this object is mapped to this anim set right so what we need to do we need to say that um, start looping this anim set continuously so just type looping here you will see anim node sequence looping just select that and say playing search for playing and you need to say this anim node sequence you need to keep playing here right so just close this and close this as well right so uh, let's go to okay right. let's build some lights So once after this, once we build this, we can run uh, using this button, right? Um, we can use this button as well, but if you click this button, it will um, it won't open a new window. So you can see the preview in the same uh, window, right? So let me open a new window, right? This is the animation that we created. So it will keep playing and it will keep looping the animation set that we selected. Right? Okay, uh, that's it about the. Uh, 
creation of animation sets uh, using Unreal Development Kit. So stay tuned, subscribe.